spent the morning doing things I couldn't video. I had, I got dressed. Um, I spent an hour, a little more than an hour on the phone with a viewer who's coming here to San Antonio. She is uh, on a trip. Actually, she's coming through whole, all of Texas, which is very aggressive. Um, she is um, also a YouTuber, so that's kind of cool to talk to her. And then I had filmed a video, my video reviewing the Tarte makeup that I have on today. And um, what else did I do? Oh, and then I went to a business meeting with my husband and I just am walking in the door. So we were in that meeting for two and a half hours. It was a lunch meeting. My house is a mess. I wanna show you today's outfit, even though most of it, I don't know if most of it you can get, but the shoes, I don't know. I just wanna show you how I styled myself, but the lighting is, oh, no, it's better. Okay, so here, I'm just gonna get on the chair. I still don't have a full length mirror. So, face, like I said, all is tart makeup, I'll list that below. Um, the shirt is the peplum shirt that I got from Matches Fashion. It's a Max Mara weekend shirt. It's a little peplum shirt. It hides, forgives a lot of sins, hides a lot of stuff going on here. Kendra Scott necklace. I have a little lightweight cardigan on because it's chilly in the office where we met. And then let's talk about my pants. These exact pants are no longer available in the color, but these are from Loft. And these are the Marissa pants. They look like that. They're a little, a little loose in the waist, but they're a four petite because I like them a little shorter. And the Marissa trouser is my all-time favorite kind of dress pant. These are in a, I think, a linen blend. And then on my feet, I am wearing, um, there you go, these nude mules, which if I can find anything like them online, I will link them below. But I got them from Ann Taylor earlier this spring. So that's that, and then let me show you, see the shirt is sleeveless. So there you go. So there's my attempt at looking professional. Ooh, extreme close up. Nope, going the wrong way, Marnie. Nobody wants to get that close to you. Okay, much better. So anyway, let me see if I can get down without killing myself. Okay, <laughs> so now um, I need to straighten up and get myself together. Hop Slip these shoes off, I think. Oh, and I'm also wearing my new Kendra Scott ring and my Kendra Scott bracelet. And I just ordered a necklace and earrings that I just got noticed are on their way and will be delivered tomorrow, so that's exciting. I'm really digging Kendra Scott. Hey guys, I'm just reading your comments and there's a few reasons why I don't comment to certain um, comments or questions. Number one reason why I don't answer you is because I can't. Um, for instance, I'm going to talk to Rose, her screen name, and I'm sure her real name is Rose D'Agostino, and she asked some really good questions, but I can't comment back because she's not signed into Google+, Plus, so there's no reply option. It just I can either thumb it up or thumb it down, but there's no button for me to hit reply. Number two, if I don't answer, most common reason is because I didn't see it. <laughs> and number three, most common reason why I don't answer your question is because... Um, but I don't really think there is a number three. Pretty much either I can't or I miss, I can't because I can't reply. There's no reply option because you're not signed into Google Plus or because I didn't actually see it. Otherwise, I tend to try to answer every question. So Rose D'Agostino asked me, do you have any tips or rules for a first year driver? What rules did you set for your son? My son is taking his test on Tuesday, congratulations. My son is taking his test on Tuesday, congratulations. And I don't want to hold him back, but I don't want him to think he can drive to Staten Island his first day. Totally agree with you. Um, and it goes on from there. She just wants some advice. Okay, so I am by no means an expert on this. I have a driver who's been driving, it'll be a year in June. So we started slow and basically said he's not allowed on the highway um, for quite a long time. I can't remember when we finally lightened up on that. We still haven't so much. If there are side roads to take, then we prefer that. We have an app on his phone and our phones called Find My Friend so that I can track him like a hunted dog. Um, I can see his progress. He has to text me when he gets somewhere. He had to text me when he's getting ready to leave. Call me an overbearing, overprotective mother, but it's terrifying in the beginning. Um, where I am in Texas, at least in San Antonio, there's a curfew, a city curfew at 11 o'clock 
every day year round. He has to be home by 11. So that's been great because he can't argue with me. You know, he'll say, can I stay out later? And I'll say, ask SAPD what they think. They're going to say no. So um, that's helped. As each month progresses, you get a little more comfortable and you will open up as where you think they can drive. Um, when Jake first started highway driving, I would insist that he had someone else in the car with him. I know some people would prefer that they don't have someone else in the car. I wanted Jake to have someone, another pair of eyes, basically. Also, in Texas, the rule is when you're under 17, you, you can only have um, one other passenger in the car who is not related to you. So like if you have 10 siblings, you can have all 10 siblings in the car, but you can only have one friend. So um, he's limited to base, I mean, he's limited to one, one other kid in the car and they're not allowed to have, you know, the phone out. That is a city, that's a state law. Um, I insisted that I didn't want him playing the radio. I can't enforce that. I mean, I'm not in the car with him, but you know, you just set some rules and you, you know, I would say start very strict and then lighten up. It's easier to lighten up, but it's hard to go back to strict. So once you, you know, open that gate, it's like once you let the feathers out of the pillow, you can't put the feathers back in. It's that kind of thing. Um, so start strict. And look, if they don't like it, driving's a privilege, not a right. You take away the car. Take away the license. It's We've done it. We've done it. He just got his car back this week. We're doing it day by day. So that's that's my recommendation. And it does get easier and it does get less frightening. I promise. It's just one of those things over time everybody gets used to. Um, that's it. That's my advice. That and um, some deep calming breaths, some meditation, perhaps a little alcohol. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's nerve wracking. It's, it's, um, <laughs> your kid could die. Every time they get in the car, you think they're going to die. At least that's how I thought. If he's two minutes later than he should be, I think he's dead. I mean, it's, you, you start to think that less as time goes by, but it's, um, I'm not gonna lie. It's totally nerve wracking. It's my least favorite part of being a parent. But at the same time, the ability for them to drive themselves places opens up so many doors for you. It's such, um, a, it's a convenience and it's helpful. You know, when you've got two kids and a million after school activities, to not have to worry about coordinating for one more, one less kid is really kind of nice. So anyway, I hope Rose that that answered your question and I hope that answers your questions in general as to why sometimes I don't answer you. Hey guys, we are at Men's Warehouse getting Jake fitted for his first tuxedo and I I picked it because I'm his mom so I get to pick this one. I don't think I'll get a vote from for future ones but anyway, we I chose the Vera Wang, the classic, very classic. I wanted to, him to get the um, you know, the long tie, but he really wanted a black bow tie, so he's trying on the pants right now, and um, these were the other options. Um, this is another slim, it's a slim fit, this one is as well, but I don't like the shawl collar, so I can't wait to see what he looks like. And I met a fellow Kendra Scott fan in here, she's decked out too, so it's been fun. Then I can show Dad, also. I need to bump you up. Ooh. It's a big gun. Basley wants out. He scratches on the door. Do you see? Guys, leave, leave. What are you doing? I think there's a fly there. Is there a fly? Get the fly. No fly, guys. Sorry. I think I might leave that open just so they stop. Wrigley bites. Look what he's done. We, we just got these. Look at what he's done. He bites. He's such a bad boy. Not you. You're a good boy. Bosley, you want out? Okay. Bosley scratches the door. We need new moldings. Hey, there's no bug there. Go outside. Go. You scratched. This is a game we play. He scratches and then he just stands there. Go outside. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what came in the mail. I was on the wait list for this, or pre-order. I pre-ordered, not a wait list. This is the, does it say in the back? No. This is the Rainbow Frank color. The original is all, like, primary colors. And these are the pastels. And I just thought, it's so pretty. Even with just a white t-shirt. I think, see, oh, he's going to scratch again. Do you want to go out? Why are you standing there? In or out? Anyway, isn't it pretty? Look at its sparkle. 
Um, this is what I love about the chicken wraps that I made yesterday. You just wrap them up like this and they're all good to go. So I have one and a half of those left. I'm really not that hungry. I have a lot of leftover chicken and leftover romaine lettuce. I'm just gonna whip up a real Caesar salad because um, that's what Shane prefers. And I'm not really hungry, so I'm just gonna skip it. I'm not gonna eat if I'm not hungry. I'm gonna try anyway. And that's that. So the rest of the night includes washing my hair, which is an event, and um, editing videos in front of the TV with Michael. It's very, I like it. I just like being in the same room with him. It doesn't matter if we're not talking or not. I like it. So on that note, have a great night. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow.